I'll be making puliogare rice rolls. In this, we'll be using one of the most basic ingredients that's available in our house any time of the day, and that's rice. So we'll be using some cooked rice to make these rolls. To start with, I need to heat a karai. Take about a tablespoon and a half of oil in it. The real flavor of these rolls will come from this puliogre powder that I'll be using. Wow, it has a nice smell and a lot of things inside it. I can see peanuts and ginger, a lot of things. I just need to add one tablespoon of this powder to the oil. And stir it well. We'll just cook this powder for about two to three minutes. A lovely aroma is coming. I can smell the tamarind that's in this powder. The real base of this powder is tamarind and it makes it really nice and tangy. To this, I'll add about a cup of cooked rice. I'm sure it's always available in everybody's house. And you can see the color of the rice changing so nicely. It's looking lovely and it's smelling lovely. It's all mixed up very well, so I just put off the flame and I let it cool. Now this rice has cooled a little, so I'll just put it in the mixing bowl. There. Now to this rice and puliogre mixture that I have, I'll be adding a few chopped carrots. It's about one fourth of the cup of carrots and a few chopped beets. A little salt to taste. About one fourth cup of grated cheese. And about one and a half tablespoons of corn flour. And finally we add some chopped coriander. Give it a nice mix. Now mixture is ready. So I'll just pour some oil to get hot. We need to deep fry these rolls. While our oil is getting hot, I'll make the rolls. If you feel your mixture is a little too dry, you can add very less water to it. Just mix it up well. Now, just take a small portion of this mixture in your hands and press it hard. Try to fill up any space and get a smooth surface. Ah, there it goes. Just put it on a plate. Let me just see if the oil is ready. Seems hot enough. So I think I can just put them in. As you can see, they are getting golden brown. And they'll be nice and crispy because rice, whenever fried, is always crispy. Yeah, they are nice and crisp now. So I think I'll just take them out. It'll have a very nice texture because from the outside it's going to be very crispy and from the inside it's going to be soft. Yes, here we go. Time to serve them and they're smelling amazing. I'm getting all the flavors, the masala, the rice, the beans and carrots. It's just too good. You can serve them with some tomato ketchup or some chutney and the really tasty and really crispy puliogre rice balls are ready to serve.